with anything to do other than art. I have gotten to the point to where I hold my breath when I do a paint stroke. At this point in my life, I can't think of anything else I would rather be doing. I don't think I was made to do anything else. Character. 
Um, this story interests me because if you read the original story of Hansel and Gretel and how they end up in the woods, their mother actually led them out into the woods and abandoned them because they were going through a famine and she and her husband couldn't afford to feed the children, so they abandoned them and then they ended up finding the gingerbread, I mean the candy house. Um, and my take on it was, I feel like a lot of our younger generation, myself and our, my generation included, we've been abandoned. And um, we're finding these candy houses um, in life, rather it be money or sex or whatever it is that we're, we're, we're finding to satisfy us in that moment, not knowing there's a witch inside. Uh, music is another thing that influences my work. Before I do a show, I almost have to immediately create a playlist that would inspire every piece of artwork that would come out um, for that show. And so this is, of course, my queen, um, Nefertiri, obviously inspired by Egyptian art, but also by hip hop, obviously. Um, if I don't know if many people know this, but Tupac actually has a Nefertiri tattoo on him. So that's what kind of where the inspiration came from, the tattoo on her neck. But it's just about being a woman, being strong and soft at the same time, and not just being about your beauty, and just empowering who you are. It's another part of my goddess collection. Um, I would like to do more um, textile design. I would definitely at some point like to design a doll. Um, and like I said, more fashion design. I would love to do fashion, like large scale fashion paintings, similar to the ones behind me, just for designers and their boutiques. I would love to do that. Um, and possibly a clothing line of my own. My very first plus size drawing actually happened this year when I moved here to New York. Um, I was out and about and I was stopped by a stranger and I was asked was I pregnant um, I guess they assumed that I was pregnant because I'm a larger and I do have a bit of a belly um, and I'm used to this question I have gotten this question a lot throughout my life and no I'm not <laughs> but for some reason I went home and I sketched this girl with like this very sassy attitude and lingerie and a very large stomach and she says in the caption no i know i'm big but i'm not pregnant and it's rude to ask and i still look better than you and that was the first one <laughs> for one thing since i started doing it it has definitely helped my confidence um it's funny that I actually started drawing plus size fashion and plus size women like myself before I even appreciated how I looked and my art changed me. It made me start to love myself. It made me start to see the beauty in the women that I was drawing. It made me appreciate what the designers actually are doing um, and creating these brands for us. And I don't know, it just, Something about it was almost a spiritual thing that I did not expect to happen. The art changed first and through the art it changed me. We live in a society where I feel like as a, a bigger girl, I'm not allowed to feel like I'm beautiful. I'm not allowed to feel like I'm glamorous. I'm not even allowed to feel like I have any worth. Like I'm supposed to go into the room and hold and have my head held down and I'm supposed to be able to network and talk to people because I'm a bigger girl. I'm just supposed to sit in the corner somewhere or be somebody's fat friend. Um, and that's not how we're supposed to be. And at one point, um, I hid behind my art. For most of my life, I actually hid behind my art. Um, I used to have this thing, well, my art speaks for me, so I don't have to speak. Um, that's not true. Um, you, have to, you sometimes have to speak louder. <laughs> um, and for the first time ever, I have confidence in what it is I'm doing, um, and I didn't have that before. I would have never been able to walk up to somebody and introduce myself as an artist, and I'm able to do that now for the first time in my life. Me drawing.
drawing these girls and showing them in this light is part of me reclaiming my work, um, reclaiming my beauty. Um, this is just one part of it. And like I said, this has inspired me to dress differently, to wear I mean, my hair differently, to wear my makeup differently, to walk into the room and be able to speak because I am reclaiming who I am. Thank you.